Hey, this is Joe with Black Koi Water Features. And I'm Connor, and we were just discussing what makes water features so special? Why do we love them so much? Why are the kinds of people who own water features genuinely so nice and friendly? And what's my motivation to continue building water features after 25 years? So we thought we'd make a little video explaining our thoughts and experiences about what it is that makes water features so special and why they're such an important part of our lives. And why so many people feel the same way as we do that it can really transform your life. I think one of the main reasons is that they're genuinely just so much fun for the whole family. Everybody loves them. Everybody from my two-year-old nephew to my grandparents. And when you have friends over, like showing them the app, how to adjust the colors, yeah. like they, they're super excited about it. Yeah. I don't know, it's just super, it really makes any event just that much more fun and exciting. You're drawn into the water feature, right? Like you're intrigued by it. You're, you're like, oh my gosh, what is that? And then when there's fish swimming around too, you know, you're like, you gotta feed the fish. So many fun elements. Yeah, the yeah. interactability of the fish, the, the frog that jumps in, or it sings to you at night. My daughter is in, the, in our pond daily. She's tinkering even in this fountain behind us. She's in there playing with stuff, adjusting the rocks and playing with the water, creating different sounds, different little environments for her fairy houses. Got nice. color changing lights so we can change the tone of the colors on the fountain with the holidays, which I always thought color changing lights would be kind of cheesy, but I actually like it. Because it's yeah. like Christmas is red and green. Halloween is orange, you know, and it's fun to do a dark purple day. Yeah, I love the frog sounds because right now we've got like uh, toads are pretty much done mating, so we've got a lot of toad pollywogs. Now the tree frogs are starting, so it's like this cycle of different frog mating rituals. <laughs> Water gardening is a hobby. I think that's how I first heard of it. It's like some sort of notion or saying like the water garden hobby. It's like, what? If you don't know much about plants and you're kind of curious about dabbling in, in plants, there's no easier plants to grow than water plants because if you have a body of water, all you need to do is put those plants in that water and they're going to grow and thrive as you have. Some of the best ponds that I've seen are basically take care of themselves. You know? Absolutely, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not a fan of, of doing a lot of work personally uh, with my pond, like turning valves and pumping out filters. I like to sit back and enjoy it. Well, if you really like technology too, like some of the coolest features we have are like all automated. So you can have your phone and you can dial, you can change the color spectrum on your color lights. You can adjust the flow rate on your pump. You can check the water temperature. You can do all these different things. Like feeding the fish is so easy. So a lot of people, you don't even have to feed your fish if you don't want to, but it is fun. It's like an excuse to go outside, be by your pond, just throw some food out, watch them eat the food. You have one that'll suck on your, your finger, right? Pretty much all of mine. I got, yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll each get a finger. So yeah, they think it's food and they suck in your finger and it's really fun. But different koi have different personalities too. A lot of people don't realize that and that's kind of fun. Just like dogs, you know, different dogs have different personalities. It's the same with fish. And, and those unique personalities make people get emotionally connected to them, right? Like yeah, how... one of my favorite ponds, she's got Hundreds of koi, let's just say yeah. that. And she's got names for a lot of them. If I had, you know, 20 koi, you know, I'd definitely name my favorites. But yeah. beyond that, I don't know that I'd keep up with it. But a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Koi fish seem intimidating, but they're really easy. They're super easy pets. Like, if you go out of town for like a week, you don't really have to feed them. There's going to be plenty of, as long as the, the ecosystem is a proper ecosystem and you have the good stuff growing in the pond, you know, you can go out of town and not have to worry about them. They're really easy. As long as you have the right amount, I mean, they're very easy. Oh, yeah. People don't realize how tough they really are. Yeah, need very little food, reproduce easily in the right circumstance. And they don't have teeth, so when they yeah. suck in your fingers, it feels, it feels kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know a lot of them symbolize luck? Different kinds of luck? Well, of course. Black koi water features. Yeah. That's, that's the name. Right? So a black koi is a symbol of, like, is a good luck uh, in the Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they have different colors can represent different types of luck. So like, they can represent go uh, love, 
financial luck, uh, personal health, all different kinds of things. So if you're, Masculinity. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's actually yin and yang, right? It's, it represents two, uh, a white and a black koi that are male and female, and they uh, balance each other out. I think that's the original inspiration behind the. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was in Hawaii recently, and um, a lot of the, the koi fish are coming right from Japan because it's very close, right? But it, they just continue to grow. So they, they uh, most of the koi there are just massive, you know? And these koi can live over 100 years old, so it's pretty cool. So in addition to koi, as cool as they are and colorful, mm -hmm. people also like to keep other things. African cichlids, yep. bluegill, bass, little dark. shark. Shark varieties, like there is like, hundreds and hundreds of different sharks, but there is varieties that will live in ponds. A yeah. lot of people are interested in water features for the animals, but not necessarily for the koi. Like this guy here. Yeah. <laughs> We've built water features for dogs. We've built, I've built them for cats before. Um, we've got some turtles. Like, I love the turtles are becoming more and more popular in ponds. That's pretty cool. You were just at a place the other day where they had, was it four, four turtles? Four turtles, yeah. So they rescued a few of them and they introduced it to the pond and it's just happy as Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. We also know somebody who, he keeps a snapping turtle in his, right? He feeds yeah. it, doesn't yeah. he? <laughs> I mean, snapping turtles seem intimidating, but I mean, I think most dangerous animals aren't really that dangerous. You know, it seems like an intimidating pet. If they're tame and you're nice to them, they generally stay to themselves. And they're yeah. not very aggressive. They typically introduce, you know, someone picks them up in a car or something and that's how they end up there. Yeah, exactly. Um, like it's just, the, the to travel from like a river or a local pond to a water feature, it seems like a stretch for a lot of them. Yeah. But um, some are tame, like actively tame. I've seen videos of people petting them. Don't, don't pet your snapping turtle if you find one. But um, some people do. Birds love water features. Like this, this one here, the birds will land on there and use it as a bird bath. I think it's great. They like it gentler, right? Yeah. So, so um, if birds are what you're into, you might consider creating an, a pooling area. But yeah, they love it. I feel like it's one of the main reasons I love water features. I mean, they do change you, right? That's the whole point. One of them said it's his favorite thing in his life right now. And that's special too, because he, he had a pretty good life, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was kind of shocked by the time. I was like, oh, that's so cool. It can change and transform your whole family, your own life, make you a happier person, make you more engaged, more likely to go outside and play, especially if you have small children. You think, you don't think about it. You don't think, I'm going to about my water feature, but something about it just calls you. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> there are also genuine health benefits associated with having a running body of water near your living space, space right? right? Part of it's the, like, the negative ions that are released gives you positive energy. It kind of blocks out bad thoughts. So I love, like after, after I'm really stressed out, if I just sit by the water feature, it, it works. Like it literally, like I can't think of bad thoughts. Like I don't know what it is, it's so strange. I remember hearing a story about um, a family and one of the, the kids, they had ADHD and it was really difficult for them to focus and, and do well in school. But once they got their water feature, it was just able to calm them down, bring them peace and they would sit by it to do their homework and things started to really improve for them, right? Yeah. All right, as we're wrapping this video up, what are some of your favorite things about water features? I love the environmental elements of water features. Watch the plants grow, seeing all the different uh, species that like to interact with them, see how it develops, learning about it. That's definitely my favorite thing about water features. Nice. What's yours? Well, I love waterfalls, um, feeding the koi fish, and just relaxing. Um, I think my favorite time to be around the water feature is going to be at night. I love the lighting element. You know how they just glow at night. I think it's so beautiful. And how the, the lights can reflect and bounce. The turtles, the fish, the little newts that will grow in there. You know, we have a bullfrog right now. I think he's been there for a while. But. I mean, I, I really like like the full circle. I mean, I really enjoy the whole everything about it. I happen I mean, to know though that you love the design, like the aesthetics, yes. as far as rock placement, yeah. rock variety. I feel like I could have done so many different things with my life. Uh, my company could be so much bigger than what it is now. 
if we didn't care so much about what we do. But we are very thoughtful. I mean, design, our approach, our everything, every job is going to be a piece of art. So, yeah, I mean, if I didn't care, we, our company could be three or four times the size. Giving a customer something that's going to last a long time, going to look different from every other water feature that we've built and that's out there, you know, I think it's, it's special and it's worth it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. There, there are easy ways to do it. But if we did that, um, we would just feel so bad for shorting people of all the like special and unique personal elements yeah. that can be added to And why not give 100% if you have 100% to give? All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. This was such a fun video to make, it really was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we shared what we thought. So uh, we're curious what you think. What do you think makes a water feature special? You like the koi fish sucking on your fingers? Yeah. That's good. And then I like swimming in there. You like swimming in the pond? Yeah, because I get to dive and see a fish eating it. Yeah. <laughs>